What's up folks, how are you doing? Welcome to Football Digest and uh, before I even start, I want to apologize again for saying that I've been Kamema TV on Kamema TV on Saturday and I didn't happen to be there because I got caught up in traffic and uh, it's a long story. I, I don't want to talk about it because it's, it has already happened and quite a number of people called me up asking me what the hell is going down bro, like I'm already seeing you on Kamema TV like four hours and I'm tuning Kamema TV now. You know, I feel so bad. I feel so sorry for all those people. But it's not gonna be the last time. I'm gonna be there again. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it, it was it was nice uh, actually seeing that actually some people do honestly uh, watch when I tell them to, and it, it's fascinating. It's fascinating because I love doing this. I love talking about football. It feels nice. It can't get better than this. All right. So uh, again, I'm sorry. I am absolutely sorry. I will make sure it will not happen again. And I've sworn Nimejuma Kidole. It happened, Tana. I'm so sorry. All right, so I just want to give you an update on what's happening in the transfer market because uh, actually quite a number of things are happening over there. And uh, in terms of any other news that is worth talking about in terms of football, uh, I'm going to be sharing it right here. And of course, no other news is worthy talking about than the Mesut Ozil saga that is going down right now. And we all know Germany, uh, the German, or is it the Turkish? He retired from international football after being subjected to racism and uh, pure disrespect from the German FA. Uh, and it all emancipated with a photo he took with the Tur Turkish president. Uh, and he was alongside Aiki uh, uh, Gundogan uh, and uh, Schenk Toshun. Is that how they call him? Schenk Toshun? This Liverpool striker, I don't know how they call him. Uh, so it happened that he took out that photo while they were having an event, I think, around May. And it was so uh, controversial, such that photo, that Aiki Gundogan had to, like, clarify. Like, he was just even making apologies because uh, they were called up by the FA to explain the photo and then they had to explain themselves. And, of course, Aiki Gundogan uh, issued a statement with that regard. Um, uh, Mr. Tolzi did not issue any statement until, uh, like, I think... Two, yeah, two days ago when he retired from international football and of course for him he feels uh, like his performances and everything he has done for the German international team has been thrown down the, the drain and no one is, 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 is remembering everything that he has done and everyone is thinking now Mesut Ozil is shit you know um, and, and of course uh, he's been getting some flick from uh, the German media and they, they've been calling him uh, all sort of names and they, they've been saying it's because of him the German uh, international team performed poorly as in he has been the scapegoat for Germany and he was saying like when the German international team wins he, Mesut Ozil is German when the team loses it's because of Mesut Ozil and he's also not German he's this Turkish guy who happens to live in Germany and you know that totally exasperated him and he could not take that shit anymore and I have this feeling like this is something that has been happening to so many other guys out there, outside there, only that no one has been having the guts to come out and talk about it out loud. So you gotta give Mesut Ozil props for that. Uh, I'm sure so many people are undergoing the same kind of shit, they just can't do it. And of course this is all emancipated with the whole, it kind of indicates what uh, Trevor Noah was talking about, where guys, like he was talking about France and he was saying like Africa won the World Cup for France, because there are so many black guys there. And he was saying like, sometimes these guys, when the team wins, they're all of, uh, let's say, French or they're all German, but when the team performs poorly, then they talk about these immigrants, about these guys who are not uh, who just happen to be living in France. They are not like fully French guys. You know what I'm saying? Like when the German, when the, the French team wins, they are all French. When the French team loses, oh my God, this team is full of immigrants. You know, black guys and blah blah blah. So that whole issue kind of what Toronto was talking about vindicate it was vindicated by Mesut Ozil resigning because he was talking about the exact same issue so it's it's honestly such a, such a pity that you can subject someone who has done so much to the international team to such kind of scrutiny to such kind of insults to such kind of um uh what can i say mistreatment and racism uh uh um uh, you know like so that sort of racism, it's, it's honestly unfortunate. It's the last thing you'd expect from a person who has given so much. You know, and, 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 and Germany uh, and, and uh, Bayern Munich's president was talking, some, I think, a day ago, and he was saying, like, Mesut Ozil has been shit for years. He doesn't even feel bad about him leaving the international team. Uh, and it's even nice that he's left. He talked a whole lot of trash about... Uh, a whole lot of trash about Mesut Ozil and of course Mesut Ozil's agent came back guns blazing bam 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 bang and of course he slayed German uh, he slayed the Bayern Munich president and he was saying like all right so you're saying he's been shit right let's go with the numbers all right and tell me guys if this is 
if this is shit, then I don't know what shit is. And if a person who has these statistics is shit, then I don't know. We need to get a new definition of shit. Okay? Because Mesut Ozil has 92 appearances, 92 caps for, for, for Germany. Out of those 92, he has created 63 goals, I think. He has 23 goals and he has 40 assists. And for those 40 assists, it's a record in Germany. It's a record. No one has ever recorded such number of assists. Mesut Ozil was key in the team that won the 2014 World Cup. He was key in the team that was in the Euros 20 semi, 2012 semi-final. He was key in the team that reached the semi-finals of 2016 Euros. He has won the Germany, German National Player of the Year award five times. Five. Now, if that is a person who is shit, then I don't know what shit is. We need to define shit afresh, you know, and uh, and of course uh, it has elicited a whole lot of discussion. Guys coming out supporting, uh, and, and of course for me as an Arsenal guy, I definitely support him, man. I mean, you cannot be subjecting someone who has given so much to a team through such kind of scrutiny and such kind of racism and such kind of comments. It's the last thing you'd honestly expect, you know. So yeah, lots of things has been said, lots has been written. Talking of written, even today, Trevor Noah was 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 trashed up like. Piers Morgan uh, wrote an article today where he was uh, getting back at Trevor Noah, t telling him he's a, he's a two-faced uh, snake, you know, because of uh, talking about how guys are subjected to racism. While on the other hand, when he was a stand-up comedian, he was uh, making uh, racist comments and jokes. So it, actually, if you want to check out that whole story, it's a big article uh, done by Piers Morgan. Just go to Football Digest, check out the link I've, show, I've shared over there. It will blow your mind. It will blow your mind. Seems like this conversation just can't get uh, to 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 an end. You know, it just can't seem to end. You know, so yeah, lots of things has been said. I don't want to talk much about that. Those are my two cents to the whole uh, story. And of course, Germany uh, has lost one egg of a player, no doubt. They have lost one egg of a player, and I, I don't I, I don't see if he'll ever get back to that team again. I don't think he'll ever get back to to playing for Germany again. But that's 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 something that is. Playing right into Arsenal's hands. Like, Sasa Mesut Ozil and international obligations. Kwa Sasa ni club, 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 club football. You know what I'm saying? Like, he has no other commitments whatsoever. And, you know, this is even fantastic because uh, he, he he's just signed a new contract with Arsenal last season. So, yeah, we're going to be getting to see more of him. And I honestly can't wait to see how he's going to be performing this season. I don't think these issues are going to get into his head because he's bold enough and he was courageous enough to make that move from the word go. Man, this is a guy who's not down to jokes. He's down to serious business. And, and I can't wait to see him uh, get back into action. All right. So that is the story that I think is worth uh, talking about. Another story that I feel is worth talking about, but is more affiliated to transfers and I get into transfers is these rumors. I don't know where they're emancipating from of Inter Milan going for a move for Lionel Messi. Yeah, apparently Inter Milan want to go for Lionel Messi. They, they are out of their fucking mind. There is no way that is going to happen. Uh, and that, that's just a tidbit of what's happening in the transfer market. Transfer market sometimes can be absolutely crazy. And we are like three weeks to the Premier League. And, and, and the Premier League teams have three weeks to get their business done. Because once the season kicks off, no more transfers. No more incomings. Only guys going out. Uh, so some transfers has to be done ASAP so that guys can move out, you can get replacements, those replacements can settle and you can get ready to kick start the season because this one is going to be huge. Itakuwa kubwa. Itakuwa kubwa. So yes, let's get right into the transfers. Uh, the transfer that of course has made headlines today is Malcolm, not in the middle, uh, moving to Barcelona. By yesterday attempt like this, we were all damn sure Malcolm is going to AS Roma. He had reached an agreement, apparently, uh, Bordeaux had reached an agreement with AS Roma for him to move there. And I was like, shit, I even made an update on Facebook. And he was like, damn, like AS Roma on the wings, they'll be having Justin Kluivert and uh, Malcolm. Ooh, lo, lo, lo. Bad news. Bad news. Actually, that's a comment I made on, on Facebook. But... Baka, I don't know where only hijack your deal. Uh, apparently, Baka are being linked with a move for William from Chelsea. So they just absconded that kind of deal and decided to go directly for, for Malcolm. And they bought him for 42 million euros uh, on a five-year deal. Um, and they apparently want to a release clause of 400 million euros. Shit. <laughs> 
transfer window is going now. So, of course, AS Roma will feel hard done by that. And uh, if actually Malcolm doesn't play in the next fixture, but fixture Barcelona is playing, I think, this weekend versus Tottenham in the International uh, Champions Cup, uh, he will play. He might face AS Roma in the next game that uh, Barcelona play. I think they, they, they face AS Roma, I think, in... Is it US? I'm not so sure if it's in the US, but yes. AS Roma or Takuana Chesona Barcelona in the in the next uh fixture after the one they play Tottenham. So it's gonna be interesting to see how exactly that one turns out. And of course that's quite a steal for Barcelona. Malcolm Nims him Norma Sana. I've I've watched quite a number of clips from him. Uh he's definitely one for the future. And he's only twenty one years old. He's only twenty one years old. And that leaves a question uh is Dembele actually going to actually leave Barcelona now? Now that they have they have Lionel Messi on the wings and they have uh, Malcolm on the other one, or is he, is he actually going to stay? It's going to be interesting to see how this one turns out. And apparently there are linkages linking uh, Dembele to Arsenal, so I, I, want, I want him to come to Arsenal, man, say, Kasi Dembele what will take King Silicon, because you have already lost on Malcolm. So, yes, and I don't know how this deal passes by. Say, come Malcolm, how comes that to wife Kredi Yake? Eh, <laughs> crazy. So Malcolm has moved to Barcelona, uh, another transfer that has happened that is worth the grain, uh, worth the salt. Uh, let me see. Mm, no, not much has actually happened this week. Um, there are, of course, uh, uh, rumors linking Bonucci with a move back to Juventus. Yes. So Bonucci left Juventus to go to AC Milan. So there are rumors now linking uh, Bonucci with a move back to Juventus so that Higuain can go to AC Milan, but then again Higuain, but then AC Milan, sorry, had been linked with a move for 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 Karim Benzema. So are they going to go for Benzema or are they going to go for uh, for Higuain? That is going to 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 be seen in the next couple of days. Also, Hazard has also been heavily linked with a move to Real Madrid. Uh, still. We are waiting to see how that one's gonna happen and what exactly is gonna turn out in that one. And of course, we are also still waiting to see like Real Madrid. They're going to replace. Okay, you can't replace Cristiano Ronaldo. Like, who are they going to buy to come and try and and fill that big void that Cristiano Ronaldo has left at uh, at Madrid? And I saw today they signed a new goalkeeper. He's called Andre Yunin. Yes, I don't know where they got that keeper from. Uh, they signed a new goalkeeper, so they have Kayla Navas and, and him, of course. There are also rumors uh, linking uh, Thibaut Couture with a move to Real Madrid. It has not yet been made official, so you're still waiting to see how that one's going to turn out. Um, uh, teams like Manchester United have not been linked with anyone. Actually, the only news that's coming out of Manchester United uh, uh, is Anthony Martial wanting to leave. And uh, I think it's just a matter of time there before it happens. Uh, so he was being linked to the move to Chelsea when William was being linked to the move to Barcelona. Now, William is not moving to Barcelona, so is Anton Martial still going to go to Chelsea? We are waiting to see. Uh, Tottenham have not been involved in any kind of deal lately. Um, Arsenal, uh, not much. It'll be linked, like I said in my uh, my previous broadcast, we are moving for Kingsley Coman. It still remains to be seen. No bid has been made yet officially. Uh, so yeah, it's it's at that stage in, la in in the transfer market where something will have to happen for the other dominoes to fall in place. So like Malcolm moving to 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 Barcelona, will it make Dembele leave? If Dembele leaves, then someone will leave at another place. As in, if you even for a club like Arsenal, before they make any purchases right now, they'll have to sell one or two guys. You know, of course, there's a whole issue of Aaron Ramsey extending his contract. Nothing has been made official yet, and I'm hoping he doesn't go because you know he's a good player, honestly. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, so yes, so those are some of the things that I've been doing rounds in transfer market. Uh, nothing concrete happening so far. Uh, so we're still waiting to see what exactly is going to be happening in the next couple of days. You feel this week something will happen, something huge. Of course, Malcolm has moved. So we are waiting to see what else is going to happen. And uh, if you feel like I've left out any transfer dealing or deal that has happened and is worth talking about, you can always drop it in the comment section, all right? And you can make us be in the know. And like I always say, you can always check out our YouTube channel. It's called Football Digest KE. You can also check out our Facebook group. It's called Football Digest. Yes. And I will join to pig stories and pira to do it. I'm going to see you. Shit. Oh my god. Is she tangu metokana? Fuck how?
Oh, holy crap. I bought this thing back in 2014 and CGI itoa ever. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. Alright guys, uh, have a good evening, have a fantastic uh, Wednesday if you're watching this uh, in the Wednesday morning and uh, I, I'll be back here on Thursday to feed you with more information on what is, happen what is happening in the transfer market and maybe what is worth talking about in the football world, alright? Thank you so much, have a good evening, God bless, take care.